Next speaker is Mallory Willem from Iowa State University. Hi everyone, my name is Mallory Wilhelm and I am currently a VM1 at Iowa State University. So today I'll be talking about the future of the farm combating the industry labor crisis. Um, for a little background information, this summer I was a student through the Swine Veterinary Internship Program that Iowa State holds and through that we complete various research projects um, with different companies um, nationwide. So within this company that I was specifically working for this summer, there were two specific swine farms or sow farms that we were looking at that had an uncharacteristically low employee turnover rate. And we were all wondering, why is this? Could it be leadership from farm managers, upper level management, coworkers, the simple animal human interaction that the employees get, the compensation, or could it be something else altogether? So we decided to create a short workable survey, which was one of our objectives, to implement on farms, something short that employees could do during breaks or their lunch breaks, something that they could do that wouldn't take much time and keep their attention. So we wanted to be able to write questions that we could quantifiably measure and something that's also e easily repeatable and implementable. So one of our other objectives is to find trends and identify areas for improvement in employee satisfaction along with retention. And then overall, we just wanted to start initiating progress in combating the agriculture's industry labor crisis. So a little bit about this survey compensation, or composition. Um, so like I said, it was a short survey comprised of 13 multiple choice questions, as you can see here. This is one of our uh, multiple choice questions. So you can see that it's just a statement and employees were prompted to circle whichever one they feel um, corresponds with how they view their job. So employees could circle strongly agree and that was measured with a four. And they could also choose agree, disagree, or strongly disagree. And if they chose strongly disagree, it was given a score of a one. So there were 13 multiple choice questions ranging from everything from job specific to growth potential that they see themselves on the farm to how they're satisfied with their compensation. And then finally, there were three open-ended questions at the bottom of this survey. And you can see that on number two down below. And they were just very broad open-ended questions. And while these questions were not um, quantifiably measured, they were analyzed for trends. So this, all surveys were emailed to farm supervisors since it covered a wide area. Um, and all of the surveys were given to employees at one time, whether that be on a certain break or their lunch break, um, whenever they really had time. And supervisors were encouraged to leave the room while these surveys were distributed and being taken just to eliminate any bias that may occur. Um, and it's important to note that both surveys were offered in both Spanish and English to best accommodate all employees on the farm. So these surveys were given to 10 different farms and nine out of these 10 farms not only filled out the survey, but we all received them prior to the allotted deadline. And this tells us that employees want to tell us their thoughts and opinions of how things on the farm are going. So now that you guys have some background information, we'll get to some results. So as you can see on this graph, we have annual turnover on the y-axis, and on the x-axis, we just have the years. So this is a historical graph showing that farms one, two, and three have had a very low historical turnover, and this is labeled in shades of green. Farms four, five, and six within this survey have a moderate turnover, and are displayed in shades of yellow and orange. And farms seven and eight have the, had the highest historical turnover and they are displayed in shades of red. So keep these colors in mind as we move forward throughout this presentation. So we can see that when we look at the overall turnover on this chart right here, it's just our average total survey score 
through all of the questions. And average total score is on the y-axis, and on the x-axis is just the different farms that we collected surveys from. So we can see here that total survey score does not directly correlate with historical employee turnover. For instance, farm one here, we see has had historically one of the lowest turnovers within this system. However, it shows up seventh overall in employee satisfaction. So we also looked at these open-ended questions as well. Um, and throughout these three questions, we see that everything's overwhelmingly positive. Um, so these are some of the words that employees use to describe how they feel about working on the farm. And the most common responses included working with coworkers and being a part of a team, working with animals, and the job flexibility that this career offers them. However, it wasn't all positive. There were some improvements that could be made to overall job satisfaction. Um, some of those being higher compensation and benefits, more opportunities for growth promotion, and sharing the responsibility or workload within their team. So some conclusions that we can draw through this survey. There wasn't a real correlation between higher survey scores and lower annual turnover. There were no apparent correlations between employee satisfaction and farm location, herd health status, or their specific supervisor within this system. And, but, however, now that we do have a general set of questions, we can start narrowing down these questions and asking more precise questions to see if there's something specific within these systems. However, we didn't come away from this survey empty-handed. We did see that interpersonal connections do matter. Um, when employees were asked if they trust their coworkers to do their jobs to the best of their ability, so I can focus on doing my job to the best of their ability, we see here that three of the four lowest scores had higher turnovers annually. Um, and we see that along with the open-ended question responses that it's highlighting the importance of positive coworker interaction. Um, so overall, individuals value reliability, dependability, and teamwork to complete their jobs. And in the future, um, the system plans to implement ways to improve the biggest areas of opportunity. For example, um, giving employees the opportunity to learn about a different area of production that they might be interested in. So offering trainings for if they're interested in day one care or learning how to artificially inseminate. Um, having those skills and allowing employees to teach their coworkers an area that they're passionate in. And then after a period of implementation, we plan to send out another um, survey to reevaluate and see if these improvements and changes have made a difference in employee satisfaction. So questions can be added to this survey and taken out as needed. Um, however, there will still be a core group of questions to see if the responses change within the changes that we make. Um, so a special thank you to Suede Health and Production, Dr. Brandy Burton and Dr. Amanda Reaver for helping me um, throughout this summer, along with Olinko Animal Health for sponsoring me through SFIP and Iowa State University's College of Veterinary Veterinary Medicine and Dr. Daryl Holtkamp for SBIP. Are there any questions? Questions for Mallory. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I, uh, you did great. Uh, this was helpful or interesting to me. I hire uh, an interview on our farm. I was just curious if your survey or any of the information you gathered had into any history on the employees as far as their background, or is this their first time working on a farm? Is this their first, uh, or do they have previous history working on other farms? That kind of led to any implications in satisfaction or turnover. Yeah, yeah, so we didn't necessarily collect any information on whether or not they had worked at a farm before or if this was their first time. Um, 
However, we did see and have historical turnovers and have had those um, extrapolated from various sources, I guess you could say. Um, so we do know just by historical um, data that there is a di diverse population of people within each of these farms um, to look at. Does that answer your question? Oh, that's good. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Thank you. I, I do have a question, Mallory. Did yeah. you have in your questionnaire any question about the perception uh, that the employee had regarding the, the system they're working on that this survey would make a difference, yes or no? No, we didn't have a question regarding whether or not um, this survey was going to impact the system as a whole, but that would be a good question to ask and see if they think that something will happen in response to that. Yeah, so we're on. <laughs> um, so did you have any feedback from any of the supervisors that they were looking to kind of implement some of the things? Like, did the supervisors have a chance to look at the surveys as well, and did they want to do anything with them? Yeah, yeah. So actually, one of our veterinarians on the team did present at one of the supervisors' meetings recently and presented this information to them, and they thought it was really interesting and are looking for ways to improve in place as well. It will definitely be in the future. Okay. Thank you, Mallory. Thank you.